I've been on the topic of, I guess, Skyblock XP, I guess you could say. Mostly minion stuff. But let's take a look at the museum. I have a feeling there's a few things I can go over there to upgrade. That was in English. <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's put the drill in there. And then immediately take it back out just for the Skyblock XP. Absolutely. Oh! Look at that. That puts me into the premier category, which means I have Shen's auction available. Well, that's too bad because I'm immediately taking it back. <laughs> oh, so that means I can attend Shen's auction if I wanted. I just had to put my drill away. Summoning Eye? Is Summoning Eye one of the weapons? Uh, weapons. Is Summoning Eye one of the things that you put in museum? I believe it is. 20 enchanted gold blocks and more painfully, 25 million coins. <clears throat> Super deluxe bank account. Thank you very much. And now we have a max bank balance of 500 million coins. That is halfway to the 1 billion coin limit that we need for G drag. So we definitely need this next one, but I think we're going to save it for next time. But that was a good chunk of Skyblock XP, I would imagine. Let's check out our progress here. Level 228. Back in the top 600. Welcome to the next episode. Maybe we're partway through. Who knows? But I have one more topic planned for the stream. And then we've gotten through all of them actually like way earlier than I thought I was going to. So we might dip into tomorrow's ideas for video titles. But... That's five videos down, exactly. One, two, three, four, five. And this is number six. I think it's time to uh, talk about Mage Reputation. So, one of the things I did off camera, for three months, I did my dailies. And we are at 18,820 Mage Reputation. Now, you continue getting Reputation past the limit, which is nice, for reasons we're going to get into in a bit. But do you want to see what I've settled into? for my setup to kill bosses. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. You switch back and forth between Midas Staff and Aurora Staff and it just shreds it. Like I just did 8 million damage right there. And then you use the Voodoo Doll to slow it down. And that is extremely helpful. It is very, very helpful. Same with Barbarian Duke. I don't even need other people. I can solo these and I have been soloing them every day for the past three months. And since this guy has slowed down, well, that time it missed. Duke sometimes can dodge arrows. I don't know how that works. I'm not sure if I'm fully specced in the mage. I think I am. But as you can see, this pattern is very effective at getting him down. Like he's already at almost half health. Someone else is shredding it from underneath with hype, but still, I think I've demonstrated my point. I could do a ton of damage this way. Typically, I'll die two or three times during a fight, but that time I only died once. 75 million damage throughout the fight. There we go. And the most annoying one by far is the Mage Outlaw. He doesn't heal like other minis do. He's also dead at the moment, but you can't use the Voodoo Doll on him because if you do, he will smite you. You will be dead. I think for this fight, it would be beneficial to have the Overflux because he deals a lot of damage. Usually, he will just outright kill you several times during the fight, which is so fun. Also, the Spinning Skulls thing is great, but you'll see in a second how I've been doing the dailies. I've never killed Ashfang before. I'm still scared. I'm probably more than capable at this point if I just wear Mastiff and then punch the gray orbs. But I'm still scared of him. So all you got to do is during this attack and the red circle one, you don't want to be shooting at him. You don't want to use Voodoo Doll because it will damage him during the part when he hits you back. He reflects damage. There's the other thing that he does. He's probably going to spawn the skulls next in the next like five seconds or so. Nope, he's going to do the lightning again. Having Plasma Flux really helps with this, though. Because he would have murdered me by now, and I would have run out of mana. And now what you can do is... Burp. Burp. Oh, missed. Burp. And there go the skulls. And there he goes. Number one damage. And then if I wanted, of course, there's Ash Fang, which no. <laughs> and there's also Magma Boss, which I'm not doing because that's going to take way too long. It's not even a difficult fight. It just requires a ton of people. And I really don't feel like it. I believe maximum reputation is what? 12.5k? So 
there's a system in skyblock that i am going to take advantage of by continuing to do my daily faction quests there's a magic point it's 12,000. oh okay there is not really a cap on how much mage rep you can get there's a max to the point where it doesn't do anything for you anymore but there is a cap on the minimum reputation it bottoms out at negative 3000 for the opposing faction and that is super important because there's a limit on the negative side but it goes unlimited in the positive side so what you can do is grind up theoretically right double of the max reputation in one faction plus 3000 and then switch factions because when you switch factions you don't start from nothing it carries over your reputation from the old faction and gives it to the new faction so in theory if you have double the amount then it's either double or double plus 3000 i'm not sure so it's either 24000 or 27000 but anyway theoretically what that means is you can switch factions back and forth constantly and you never lose any rep so that's the plan that is what i want to do i only made it about two-thirds of the way ish but still pretty good if i continue to do dailies and especially if i start to do kudras ashfang that sort of thing then yeah we're gonna be doing pretty well now i do want to get a black belt fairly soon if not today so let's give this a shot what even was that so i am adding stars to my trophy trophy hunter armor now you're probably asking yourself why does 30 virus want to max out hot bronze hunter armor that doesn't make any sense let me tell you it is actually quite big brain and you're about to see why once i finish doing it and explaining my reasoning so now it's time to explain 10 starred bronze hunter armor that seems kind of random and perhaps a flex but it's not and i'm about to explain why for the low low price of about five mil i have now secured myself an insane amount of gold magma fish that i will get once this automatically gets upgraded to silver gold perhaps diamond i don't know if i'm gonna wait that long hunter armor which i could then salvage to get a ton of gold magma fish trophy hunter double hook fishing speed that's hey that's one of them that's one of them double hook fishing speed that's the rod that right that is the one that is one of the ones now i just need a fishing speed um trophy hunter another one oh a third one there we go that's the one that's the one. Oh, that's so freaking hype chat oh my god that's awesome Dude, we just got the attributes of our end game fishing rods right there. I just wanted to get the duplicates out of the way. So the double hook three fishing speed three. Cool. Um, so that we now put in our ender chest, I suppose. We'll put that away and we're not going to touch it for a while. Now this one has double hook four trophy hunter two, and that's our old fishing rod. So I'm going to steal that. We're going to take that. Now we're gonna try and make a... Okay, so we're gonna need double hook four, trophy hunter three. I have double hook four. I should use that on this. I think that's it for that one. Cool, we have our sea creature fishing rod. Now we need the fisherman... No, now we need the one that's trophy hunter. So let's grab all of these again. I believe this is as good as we can do for trophy hunting for now, unless I just craft more rods. Let's switch pet to flying fish. Now, here's the cool thing. That bugged Kudra pet that I got, I ended up putting the common one away because I feel like it might be stealing the other one's XP with XP share. Don't know. But this gives you 11.8% increased chance of trophy fish at level 59. So my guess is it's like, what, 20%? 15 to 20%, probably 20% by the time it's level 100 epic. So that is huge, right? Right there that's really good and obviously the flying fish is great because of that 76 fishing speed and i believe i can oh there isn't a fishing speed beacon thing is there 
the sea creature chance but we don't need that where we're going yeah we got to use tonic as well which i did a lot of grinding for off camera as well big surprise i actually have two entire stacks of empty chum buckets and i think we're set to go with trophy fishing now i guess the question is which trophy do we go for I guess we should talk to Odger and see which one is the easiest to get that would bring us to silver. Either in the volcano or in a biome that is like, you know, way off away from the island doing obfuscated with the corrupt bait. Now, this is for everything except corrupt. I think we're going to start out not going for corrupted fish because there's like three of them, three trophies I can go for right here. That was underground. I need access to the sky. Is it where the fishing rod, is it where the bobber is or where you're standing? Okay, yeah, that was definitely, that was definitely an issue of the bobber being underground, not my own character. So we have volcanic stonefish and the flounder up to silver. So technically we don't need to be in here anymore. And there it is, let's go, dude. We need one more, one more. Where the hell am I? One more silver and then we have the silver armor. Hello, Odgar. It's not looking good. We have one more. But there's a chance the bait is not consumed several times in a row, which would be nice. Nope, that's the last one. Oh! Oh my god, chat. Literally on the last one. On the last one. Rigged. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh my god, finally. Oh, now watch this. Boom. Oh, that's a lot of magma fish. I actually can make a gold if I wanted, which I don't. I probably can make... Here, let's splash the grind to get rid of it. Let's chuck the bait that I don't need. And now for the satisfying part. Boom. This is so scripted, honestly, dude. Five, 10 starred silver hunter armor. Now, getting this to gold is the goal. Because then we salvage it, get all of the free magma fish, use it to craft an inferno rod or hellfire rod, whatever it's called. I don't know. Silver Odger's tooth. Ah, look at that. And now we need 13 more golds to get expert trophy fisher, which we are not going to bother with. Although we did get the gold golden fish, double gold. So that's convenient. I believe we got another gold today. I don't remember which one. I think it was obfuscated too, yes. So good progress. Now I think it's safe to say I should not trophy fish again until I have charm five on the fishing rod. So that means the next time I fish, it's gonna be regular fishing. So we're gonna go for probably this goofy setup until we can get the Taurus helmet. I think flaming chest plates the last thing. It's I mean, these are the two upgraded pieces we have to upgrade. And then we use the other fishing rod and then rod swap with lot, uh, rod, rod of the sea. I can't speak. We rod swap between these. That's the plan. Now, real quick, just to end things off for the heck of it, I want to craft some more fishing rods. So let's do that. Unless my collection's close and I can upgrade one, in which case I might save it. Hold on. Ooh. Infernal rod recipe is actually kind of close. Should probably save it. 80 silver magma fish. Okay, yeah, we're going to save it. We already got our perfect uh, fishing rods <laughs> pre-recorded. Yeah. Isn't thunder armor the way to go? It is, but only after the magma pieces. Mini clue coming in clutch for real. That could not have been time better, dude. I was so not looking forward to having to get another batch of obfuscated twos to use as bait because like the tonic was just running out. It took two hours to do all that crap. Sorry, Fezzy. Yeah.